The Matrix has officially returned, and what do I think of it? I'm a little torn on the new Matrix trailer. I thought the teaser didn't tell us too much, but it did confirm some of the leaks, and I'm going to get into that further down, but we're going to start off not spoilers, and then we'll get into some minor spoilers. So what do I think of it? Well, I actually liked it quite a lot. I thought it was fantastic. It looks great, and the hints they're giving of where the story is going is very intriguing. I mostly enjoyed it. I thought it was mostly well done. There are a few things I would criticize, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But in terms of what it was goodly good, yeah, we're getting Neo again, we're getting Trinity. The action looks very well done, it looks very exciting, and yeah, they're not doing groundbreaking special effects, but I thought it was very kinetic. I think it did what it's supposed to do, it got me really, really excited. So at least in terms of what the film itself will be, even at the worst, it'll just be kind of a flashy action movie. I'm fine with that. The bare minimum, it's just going to be a very good looking and a very well done action film. So from that angle, I have no complaints. But in terms of how are they going to really explain what is occurring, Neo coming back, who are these other people? Yeah, they may screw that up. So, But in terms of the trailer itself and what I know at this point, I am excited. But there are some notes of caution. In terms of the actual look of the trailer, it looks fantastic, but it is not consistent with the trilogy. It's definitely not consistent with the first film. The first film had a very noir look with shadows. It was green and black. This is not. This is very bright. It's much more yellow and golden, so it doesn't visually look like the other films, so that's a little bizarre. And of course, those films were done on film, at least the first one was, and this is not. So it looks a little flashy, and if you're not into that kind of cinematography, that could be a little annoying. And they are bringing old people back, but kind of not bringing them back. So now we know that black man is Morpheus. So Yaya, who looks like Morpheus, is Morpheus. He's not a generic black man. He's not playing another character. He's not the son of Morpheus. He's not the grandson. He is Morpheus. And that is going to be a problem, which I'll get into later. So that's a little weird and puzzling why Lawrence Fishburne wasn't even asked. He even asked no come back. So that feels kind of cheap. They're just getting... I guess a new young black man to do the stunts or he looks better that just that just felt really stupid and superficial it doesn't feel like morpheus at all he looks really different he acts very differently so that's a little strange i do however like the new female character who's played by a chinese british woman and if you know game of thrones she's actually been with us for a while she played nymeria sand with her we don't even know the character name yet but i think we're gonna like her i think she looks visually really well and a lot of people were just already going crazy that she has blue hair She's going to be some SGWs. She's going to be some kind of lesbian feminist. That's within the Matrix. That's within the mythology. If some people get triggered over that, I'm sorry. They even got triggered over the use of the word trigger by Neil Patrick Harris. Listen, the Matrix mythology is pretty much on the left. That's always been the case. The Wachowskis produced V for Vendetta. I think it's pretty clear where they stand politically. So you don't like those things. It's too bad, but that's in the mythology. So I saw nothing, at least from the trailer that should get us worried. Now we're gonna get into some plot spoilers and here people may start getting a little nervous and I agree with them. So we're not getting Morpheus as we understand it. We're not getting Fishburne, he's not coming back. We're also not getting Agent Smith. Now with Agent Smith, I wanna be careful. They did ask him to come back and they were negotiating and Hugo said, it seemed like it was gonna happen. We were negotiating for time and money. I was open for it and then they just suddenly said, no, we don't need you anymore. Thanks, bye. So we were going to have Smith. Now we're not going to have Smith. So we're missing a large part of the mythology because we don't have Smith. We don't really have Morpheus. This is, I don't know how they're going to do this. Is he literally the old character? He just looks new. Yeah, they just created a pointless mess with that. But we, they do have some of the old people. We're going to get the Merovingian. We're going to get Niobe, right? Jada Pinkett is going to return as well. But we don't know how much. Are they just going to be cameos, a flashback? But we are going to get the Merv. We're going to get some of the old people. So that's good. So they are going to try to tie it to the other films. So there is some linkage. So unless they're playing entirely new characters, we're getting some ties to the other film. But I have to be honest, when you hear about the whole plot in terms of the spoilers, it's a little silly. Essentially, it seems that Neo is kind of a video game developer. Because remember in the first film, he was kind of like a kind of rock bottom white professional worker. He made a little bit of money. He wasn't poor, but he was not a big dog. But in this one, he seems to have much more wealth much more comfortable, right? He's affording to go to coffee shops. We didn't know that in the first film. So he's some kind of video game person or video game developer, and the Matrix itself is now a video game. Like when you see that guy at the end saying, we're going back to the Matrix, it appears he's talking about the video game. So the Matrix itself is now 
this kind of corporate product and how he's taking a ton of blue pills and somehow Neil Patrick Harris is trying to convince him he's crazy or stupid or don't worry, it's all a fantasy. So it's got a very meta kind of allegory as the framing mechanism. And that sounds just stupid and silly. I mean, I like that it seems that we're going to get to the good stuff very fast. We're going to get through the, okay, this is the new Neo. This is where he is now, but he's got to wake up and become our Neo, right? He's going to become the Neo we understand, the Neo we recognize. Let's be honest. The Matrix is a lot of just fun stuff just happening, just a lot of fun kinetic action occurring all over the place. But it did have a little bit of depth in the first trilogy. It ended badly in my eyes. I think they did a good film, not a great film with the first one. But more and more, I just think the first one is okay. The second one, I think, actually was legitimately great. And then they just had a really, really weak ending. So I'm really here for that they're going to give us a good Neo story. If they sort of do this thing where Trinity is the new hero or they kill him off after an hour, I don't care. As long as we get like one good Neo story with the time we have with him, I'll be satisfied. And the action looks pretty great. The basic story is lame, and they definitely made things way more weird and complicated by not bringing back old people. But they are going to have some nods to the original trilogy. Some of the old people are coming back. Overall, tentative reasons to be hopeful, but they could still screw it all up. But as of now, I'm going to be very, very hopeful. They're going to do a really good job of this. Is it going to be groundbreaking like the last one? Nah, no. I think the first one at least had some groundbreaking elements. This one seems very conventional. It seems kind of plain in terms of certain things that they did, like the repeating a lot of stuff. That's true, but again, there's other stuff in the trailer, I think, which makes me very excited that they're going to do some really, really interesting work aesthetically, and at least we're going to get a decent action film, if nothing else. And that's where I stand on the Matrix trailer. Thank you for listening.